Thank you, uh, Program Director, our head of the international department in our city, Neneta Laros, Executive Director of the Child Helpline International, the Deputy Chairperson of uh, Child Line in our country, South Africa, Reverend uh, Jafta, uh, youth participant speakers, uh, Yurita and Sen. It is indeed an honor and privilege for me to be part of this very uh, important uh, function. Today, it marks a turning point in most of the things that people have been uh, taking for granted. Children are the gift from the Almighty. There is no one who can deny that. But most people tend to treat uh, children as though they do not have any right because of the customs and the culture in some instances. That is why then our government make it a point that this right is enshrined uh, in our own constitution of our country. Government did not only look to enshrine it in the constitution, but went further to make sure that the rights of children are protected as well. And also to create the dedicated line for them to be used to report any instances of child abuse in our country. It should be noted that um, is not a gimmick, but it is actually used by young people whenever they feel threatened or they feel are abused. I think we should uh, educate our own people because without educating the people about this, people will always think that children are their assets to abuse and to do as they wish as long as they pay for their education, their maintenance, and the well-being of the children. There is no way we can deal with this matter if we are not educating one another to make sure that everybody understands that as the children is a gift from Almighty, but the parent has an obligation to make sure that you provide for the children, but that does not give you a right to abuse them. And in our country we are facing many challenges, especially the issues of HIV and AIDS, whereby a lot of orphans will have to look and make sure that they fend for themselves, for them to grow up. It takes the entire society to make sure that we take care of those children. And there is no child who should be growing up without a proper shelter. Hence, the government has the role to play, including all the non-governmental NGOs in our country. They argue that they abuse children because it is their right as the parents, but we should be teaching them, you have no right to abuse anybody, including children. Ladies and gentlemen, my task this morning is to welcome all of you to our city. We believe that this is one of the important gatherings in our city because our city is synonymous with a big decision. We, this city, a lot of big decision has been taken in the past. And as I stand in front of you today, I believe that even this event it's one of the events whereby a big decision will be taken. Because in the past we have hosted a number of conferences, and I know that you could have chosen to go any city for this event. But I would like to say thank you very much that you have chosen to come to us. And for that reason, as the city, we are very much committed to make sure that your stay and your deliberation is going to be the one that you will definitely come up with the decisions that is going to assist us in nation building 
especially on matters that are affecting our young generation. I wish them to welcome all of you to our city of Devon. Those who are here for the first time, I know that you will see that Devon is like a home away from home. And therefore, I'm sure you will definitely enjoy it. The city has so much to offer. In terms of education and sightseeing, we have many places and areas that are of historical importance. So take time and visit some of these areas during your spare time. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, as I've already said, I would like to welcome all of you. I think you should contact us for anything that you might need in our city that will make your stay much more comfortable. With, in the hands of our International Relations Desk, or, or unit which is headed by Mr. Eric Appelgren, I'm sure you will definitely uh, use the opportunity even for you to come back later, not for the conference, but for a pleasure and also for you to enjoy our city with your families. And you are more than welcome to our city to do so. And I would like to wish you all the best for this conference noting that this is one of the very, very important conferences because the investment to the young people and the young generation, it is of course the investment for the better future. But if we don't invest in our young people, then it means we don't know about the future of our own. Thank you very much.